a warm and heartiest welcome to the exciting journey of the universe, our solar system. In the entire world, there would be hardly a person who, in his or her lifespan, would not have looked upon the sky. Isn't it, friends? We all very well know that during daytime, the most conspicuous object in the sky is the sun. Mere presence of the sun fills the sky with bright light and because of this bright light, the other big small stars which are always present in the sky cannot be seen. However, at night when the moon is there, it seems there is a blanket full of stars covering the sky. Amidst these stars, we can also get the chance to see the other members of the solar system, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn and Mars. It is difficult to see all this with an unaided eye. But we can also see a faint whitish band of light stretching across the sky, that is the Milky Way, whom our solar system is part of. Besides the star, we may notice a star-like object rapidly streaking across the sky. And friends, on certain specific days of the year, they are seen in larger numbers and are called meteor showers. Occasionally, a bright comet may make its appearance distinguished by its peculiar long tail. And yes, at times, we can also see steady shining star-like object slowly crossing the sky along some definite path. These are man-made satellites. Fifty years ago, almost all the information about the solar system, stars and galaxies were derived from the observations made by an optical telescope. During period of past 50 years, their advanced study has become possible due to huge radio telescope installed on the Earth. These radio telescopes provide us with the accurate information about objects in space by receiving radio waves, microwaves, etc. from the space. Also, we can receive variety of pictures of the universe by installing optical telescope and artificial satellites. The Hubble Space Telescope, which is a gift of modern technology, the quality of the pictures of the universal objects are much better. The Chandra X-ray Observatory in the space, named after the famous scientist Dr. S. Chandrasekhar, sends X-ray pictures of the galaxies. Thus, there is an increase of our knowledge of the universe because of the optical telescope and radio telescope. The tremendous progress in the field of astronomy has changed our view about the universe. About 2000 years ago, a Greek astronomer, Plutoni, believed that the Earth was the center of the universe and the sun, the moon, the planets and other stars were revolving around it. About 500 years ago, a Polish scientist, Nicholas Copernicus, showed that the sun was at the center of our solar system and all the planets were revolving around it. In the beginning of the 20th century, the picture of Akash Ganga, Milky Way, became clear. It is proved that the sun is at a distance of 30,000 light years from the galactic center. Thus, the sun lost its place as a center of the universe. Now, the sun is considered to be one of many stars in our galaxy. In astronomy, the distance between the universal objects is measured in light years. The universal objects are so far from each other that to measure them in kilometers would be meaningless. Hence, the astronomers use light years to measure the distances. One light year is a distance travelled by a ray of light in one year. Speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to 5 kilometers, that is 3 lakh kilometer or 0 0.3 million kilometers. Thus, one light year is equal to 
into 10 raised to 12 kilometer.